Okay, hi all my friends. So we're at uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 5 and um, uh, we are learning all about uh, the wisdom of Solomon and he's, you know, it sounds like, you know, he would be talking to his kids, you know, about uh, what what they should do. Wouldn't it have been nice to have a parent like Solomon, you know? Um, so he, uh, Solomon exhorts to, to study wisdom because uh, that's what he wanted. That's what he asked the Lord for as, as a gift from the Lord. And the Lord gave that to him. So he wanted to um, pass it on to his children. So he says, my son, attend unto my wisdom and bow thine ear to my understanding that thou mayest regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge. So be discreet. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. So don't let anybody flatter you. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Yeah, no kidding. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Okay, lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life, her ways are movable, uh, thou, thou canst not know them. So she, instability. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way far from her, and come not nigh to the door of her house. So it's evil, shun the evil. Um lest thou give thine honor unto others and thy years unto the cruel. So you don't want to be oppressed. Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. Taken advantage of, it's unprofitable to you, you'll be remorseful. And thou mourn at the last when thy flesh and the body are consumed. Consumed. Say, how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers nor inclined mine ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. Drink waters under, out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thine own well. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad, and rivers of waters in the streets. Let them be only thine own, and not strangers with thee. Let thy fountain be blessed, and rejoice with thy wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Let her breasts satisfy thee at all times. And be thou ravished always with her love. Woo! <laughs> um, why wilt thou? Why? Gosh, sorry about that. Why will thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman, and embrace the bosom of a stranger? For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all of his goings. His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall. Beholden with the cords of his sins, he shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of his folly he shall go astray. So it's destructive to fall into sin, and it's also death to you. Chapter 6. My son, if thou be surety, sure my friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art, excuse me, taken with the words of thy mouth. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself when thou art come into the hand of thy friend. Go humble thyself and make sure thy friend. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thy eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe 
from the hand of the hunter and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Oh, that reminds me. My dad told me about that one time to study the ants and how they how they do things. It's, it's just unbelievable how they store up and they prepare and, and, and so forth. Anyway, that's how. Huh, very interesting. Okay. Um, which have no guide, overseer, or ruler. Provided her meat in the summer and gathered her food in the, the harvest. How long will thy sleep, O sluggard, when thou arise out of thy sleep? And when will thy arise out of thy sleep? This old English sometimes a little bit hard. Um, yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth and thy want as an armed man. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a forward mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. So pervert, plotting, evil devices. Frown, frown, uh, hmm. Frownwardness is in his heart. He devises mischief continually. He soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A, a proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, he that soweth discord among brethren. My son, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. He said, he said this several times now. Bind them continually up in thy heart, tie them about thy neck. And when thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. When thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. To keep thee from evil women, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Lust not after her beauty in thy heart, Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking of a lady batting her eyelids, you know. Uh, okay. For by means of whorish women, a man is brought into a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Can a man take fire in his bosom, and his clothes not be burned? Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whoever touches her shall not be innocent. Men do not dis displease, sorry, despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he is found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house restitution but whosoever committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding he that doeth it destroys his own soul a wound and dishonor shall he get and he, and his reproach shall not be wiped away for jealousy is the rage of a man therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance he will not regard any ransom neither will he rest content though thou givest many gifts. Chapter 7 My son, keep my words and lay my commandments with thee. 
Keep my commandments and live my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thy heart. Say unto wisdom, Thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my casement, and beheld among the simple ones I discerned among the youth a young man void of understanding. Passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way of her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and the dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud, stubborn, her feet abide not in her house. Now she is without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an imprudent face said unto him, I have a peace offering with me. This day I have paid my vows. Therefore come I forth to meet thee diligently, to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. I perfumed my, perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love unto the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. For the good man is not at home, and he is gone a long journey. He had taken a bag of money with him, and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield, and with the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straight away, as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till a dart strike till a dart strike through his liver as a bird hastens to the snare and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her path. For she has cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is away to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Where am I at? Okay, I've got to stop there. So it's stopping at chapter 8. Good stuff, huh? Okay. Oh, that parents would read this to children, right? Okay, well, I'm hoping that you have a blessed day. And um, uh, today's my Friday. And um, anyway, we'll have some more music coming up. I'm sure I'll come up with something. And um, again, like, subscribe, and pass along. Leave me a comment. I'd like to know who, who all my subscribers are. That would be nice. Okay, <laughs> take care. Have a good day. Bye.